There's my boy Virgil. He wants to ask you all to do something. Press the subscribe button and the notifications bell right below this video. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, folks. Please subscribe, like, and share. Hello, YouTube. Let's just let you know that this following video, you know, the beeping in the background is actually my solar inverter. Letting me, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, let me know it's really not batteries. I, have, I cannot shut it off. Uh, <coughs> I run 50% uh, solar at night. Uh, my deep freeze refrigerator and, and stuff like that. So that's, if you wonder what the beeping is, that's what it is. So stay tuned. Well, hello, YouTube. Welcome to my channel. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Now, today's topic is for you newcomers, especially the ones that are planning to meet the girl of their dreams. I have a few pointers for you. This will help you with your relationship. Now, you know, I've, uh, they're very particular on, on your appearance. I know, I used to be one of these guys with a full beard and a mustache and you know, a little longer hair and so forth. To be honest with you, they don't like that. And the reason why, because amongst their family, they think a person with a lot of facial hair and so forth, uh, they talk among themselves, he looks dirty. So, you know, if you want to build a relationship, you're going to have to be willing to give up a few things. Especially if you think this particular person has uh, the right chemistry for you. And I know you're going to say, well, I won't find me one that likes the facial hair. Likes the way I look now. Well, you might, you might be passing up a good thing. You know, I've been here 12 and a half years now officially today and uh, I don't regret giving up my facial hair matter of fact I'm happy now second thing on the agenda they don't like the person with the body odors now if you want to now this is a tropical climate and the humidity is high and you're going to sweat especially when you first come here Personally, I normally take a shower at least two times a day, sometimes three. I have been known to take four. Because they, to be honest with you, they, they don't like body odor. And it's rare you get around a Filipino or Filipina and smell any body odor. As a matter of fact, I've been here 12 and a half years and fortunately I'm not run across that yet. I mean... <laughs> When I was building this house here, we had uh, people working in this hot sun and humid and them sweating. They didn't smell body odors. So that's another thing too. You know, you want to, you want to keep yourself clean. Now, if you're lazy and you don't do that, you, you might have some problems, you know, especially with the relationship. That's some of the things I can tell you that they like. Now, they don't like hair in the ears, nose hair. Now, my wife keeps mine cleared out. <laughs> I've got, she's made me lazy. And you might as well look forward to, if you get a whole good one, you're going to get the manicure and the pedicure. Now, they kind of enjoy doing that. I've not trimmed my own nails since I've been here. And don't be surprised if they try to paint them. Now, I do allow my wife to paint mine, but only with clear. I don't like colors. <laughs> that's that's something you can you look forward to. And they want to keep you will keep a, a decent haircut. 
Uh, now you might be able to get by with a little longer than mine, but uh, they don't want it to. They don't want you to look like a hippie uh, for some reason. No, they, they got this thing about all that. Uh, they they want your appearance to suit their what she feels would be comfortable around her family and friends. Now, if you do these things, you'll find that you'll get involved with the family and friends, and uh, they will accept you so much better. And if you uh, if you like to drink, uh, don't overdo it. Don't become a drunk. They don't like that either. Uh, personally, I do drink a little bit. But my wife's never seen me drunk. I have been guilty of sitting here watching TV and having a little something to drink. I've even had to sit here and enjoy with my wife. We both sit here and have a little something to drink. But we don't drink in excess. You know. I'm not a party at one. That's just the way I am. Uh, things of that nature. You know, if you want to cater to your new girl or future wife, uh, keep those things in mind. They like. Uh, they actually like like to present you the way they feel comfortable with around their family and friends. So if you listen to whoever you're going to meet and uh, adjust to it, that's part of the culture. And believe me, if you get the right one, you, you'd be more than willing to give up all that stuff. I don't mind. <laughs> Feels funny being slick-faced even after all these years, you know. Uh, I don't know if I got a picture available that I can show you that I was full bearded and all that, and longer hair. <laughs> but one of these days, if I can dig one up, I try to present it. <laughs> Looks kind of strange now. But that's uh, some of the things I can point you towards. And uh, they like for you to have used cologne. Yeah, they like a nice smell. And they're kind of particular on what you use, too, you know. Not a conventional clone, you know, like a brute and uh, 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 Old Spice and things of that nature, musk. Uh, they like it, but they, they got a particular sense of smell. And uh, I recommend letting your, your girl choose that for you. Uh, that way she feels more comfortable with it. Because that way she knows that uh, her friends and family will accept that smell also. But it's a different world here. It really is. And, and if you can accept it, God, life can be so great. I mean, you, you'd you be amazed. And they will cater to you. I mean, my wife carries my food to the, I eat outside all the time. I can, brings it to my table. You know, uh, I don't have to ask for a lot of things. Like I'll be sitting there watching TV or movie or whatever. And uh, she'll bring a glass of water out, I don't ask. Or she'll bring a snack out, I don't ask. No. And she knows uh, I like to get out and see things and so forth. Uh, you've seen in a previous video, we've done a road trip. Uh, they, they, if you find the right one, they'll enjoy doing those things too. Now, I have run across a few cases where uh, the girls are just plain old homebodies. They just don't like to explore. I've seen that. And to be honest with you, I think it's due to their husband or boyfriend, their grooming habits. They kind of, that's what the main, I think that's the main reason. Uh, I've been out and about and I've run across foreigners, uh, well, different nationalities, and I'll just be honest with you, some of them are disgusting. They really, I don't see how they can stand themselves. So, you know, keep that in mind. If you want to come here, you know, you, you want to keep, your hygiene habits are going to have to change. Like I said, now, this is the tropics, and you will sweat. Especially if you're a newcomer, and you're coming from a colder climate. I can remember my first year here, I'm 
they was it wasn't unusual for me to shower four, five, six times in one day. You know what I mean? So, you know, it was, I was at that time living in the city, and to be honest with you, the city the temperature is much, much warmer, and you will sweat. I mean, it's 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 hard to explain. Even with the, if you rent a place and you got air conditioning, it, it's hard to keep the humidity down. Now here where I live, uh, it's not so bad. Uh, uh, still, it gets humid, but not like it did when I lived in the city. All the, all that concrete holds the heat. Yeah, I'm having my coffee this morning. Uh, made myself some brewed coffee, and. Uh, this is June 1, and, uh, <laughs> and there's going to be a few things uh, coming up in this month. Uh, you know, I've got a, a projects going on and so forth. If I'm lucky enough to uh, get the right frame of mind. Maybe I can video what we're getting ready to do. Uh, one thing, I'm going to put filtration on my water. Uh, it's not going to be a major system. It's going to be a simple system. It's the cartridge type. I'm going to use the 20 inch cartridge type. And it's a three stage filter. Uh, later on, I may expand it to something better. But uh, for the time being, I'm going to do the three stage thing. I got just a little bit of sediment in my water from our new well. But, uh, I'm sorry to get off topic. But I'm trying to get you prepared for some of the upcoming videos, hopefully. And uh, we'll probably. Uh, do um, a few more road trips. Of course, you know, we have to keep them at a minimum. You know, the price of gasoline here is uh, kind of on the extreme side. Uh, see, four. About 680 a gallon, roughly, for those in the United States. And uh, there's no and as far as I can tell, there's no, no, I don't see any decrease coming. If it does, I'll, I'll be happy. Fortunately, my little vehicle does get reasonable fuel mileage. I know even with air conditioning, for those that live in the United States, I'll average 30 miles a gallon plus. And that's, that's pretty darn good, considering, you know, the, in the air conditioner, and some most time I'm fully loaded, so you an ideal, but still it gets expensive, you know. Uh, it's, not, it's not hard to spend $200 a month right now on gasoline, you know, just doing basic needs. <laughs> That's another thing, too. If you're going to be a newcomer here, please come prepared and have enough money to take care of yourself and enjoy things. Uh, in the beginning, you're going to spend more. That's just, that's just the way it's going to be. <clears throat> because you're going to be excited and you want to see things. And I hope everybody that uh, that does make that jump or come here, I hope you end up finding a, a very happy life like I have. And I, be, I wish you the best. And if you have any comments or whatever, just leave me a comment and I'll do my best to reply. And I want everybody to enjoy their life. Take care of yourself. And that's another thing too. Uh, if you're in bad health, uh, I don't recommend coming here. Yeah, you know, they got good medical facilities in major cities. But it can be expensive unless you're... Uh, happen to have an insurance that uh, those hospitals will adapt to, which most of them will ask you to pay up front and you collect from the insurance company. That's the way it works. And you will pay the per uh, hospital before you get the exit. They will hold you hostage. So keep that in mind now. If you if you got health issues, uh, this might not be the place you want to come to. Because, you know, it can be a disaster. 
I just helped a friend out. Uh, ended up in the hospital. And uh, we got short funded. So I, I made my contribution. And hopefully he'll be out of the hospital here quickly. Uh, my understanding is he is getting better. Uh, he was dehydrated and running fever. He got some kind of infection, I'm pretty sure. I suspect food poisoning, but I don't know. But anyway, folks, please subscribe, like, and share, and stay tuned for upcoming events. And like I said before, leave a comment below, and don't forget to hit that like button. And we'll see you on the next routine.